I've actually been on here before. My name is Chris. Chris, do you have an update? Yeah. So uh, I met some 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 good guys here, but I think um, what I was finding out, you know, I've been like trying to do better with my spirituality, and I, you know, guys would tell me, "Oh, yeah, I go to church. I go to church," and I haven't really had like that partner that has the same intimacy. And then um, yesterday was an accident. And I had a few near death experiences in the accident yesterday. I'm not gonna go, cause I'm gonna cry again. Cause it's literally fresh. Um, so, and then with that happening, I just wanted to be more clear and more intentional about like my partners and the people in my life, you know? Okay. All yeah. right, so you had a so what? Oh, you know, I don't want you to go there if you're gonna get emotional. But she had a near death experience yesterday. Yeah. So yesterday it was raining. I'm in Houston. Uh, so yesterday it was raining, and um, my car hydroplaned and almost went over the rail, um, and then it started spinning out of control, and then uh, my airbags deployed, and I couldn't see right, and I just started getting hit from every side, and it started going back to the another side where I almost fell over then. And then my car stopped and then um, my car was filling up with gas and I couldn't get out of my car. I was trapped in my car uh, for a little bit. I couldn't get out and I was just like screaming help and there was nobody else. And I, eventually I got out of my car and I was just like hyperventilating and a lady helped me on the side of the road. So it was, it was, it was a lot. Did you have to go to the hospital? Um, the EMS did come. I didn't have to go to the hospital. So I'm oh, that grateful. Was like, that was God's blessing. Yeah, I was definitely protected 100%. Yeah, That's God's was, blessing. All right, well Stop the cap. Holy guacamole. And during all this, what happened was it was a baby on the side of the road and she stopped. Y'all know the story. A man with uh, orange hair. It was an 18-wheeler. They fed Come her cheese. Come yada, on. Yada, yada. Come on, man. She ain't giving all the context. Just all of a sudden there was this accident. Come on, man. Listen here, man. We know y'all can't drive, <laughs> man. Stop playing. Ain't nobody trying to hear it. Sorry. And yeah, you're going to come up here again, again, again. Guess what? This is a dating show. Not not, not the local, you know, daily trauma dump. They just come up here dumping trauma. That's all they got. They're looking for sympathy and pity at this point in, in winter. That's where we at. Take note. That's where we at. Now we're looking for sympathy and pity. It was... It was city girls up, shake shake your ass all over the place. Now we need pity. Help us, please. Continue. We go like I said. She was up here a couple months ago. We already did a review on her. Um, here we go. Let her cook. The car was filling up with gas. This was yesterday. In the last twelve to twenty four hours, she almost you know deleted, got deleted. But she's here. She's here. Wow. Well, I'm happy you're here with us today. So you saying yesterday's experience has made you be more focused on what you want in your life. Yeah, I'm more reflective about like the people that I um, engage in. Okay, fair enough. So let's do it, Chris. And Whoa. where are you calling me from Houston? Houston, Texas, yeah. How old are you? I'm 33. 33, do you have any children? No children. No kids, what do you do for a living? Uh, I am a supervisor at the Toyota Center. Supervisor, um, what's your zodiac sign? Scorpio. Scorpio. Yeah. So this is Chris Houston, 33 Scorpio, no kids, supervisor at the Toyota Center. All right, love. What kind of man are you looking for? Um, I am been appreciating my dry phone, I'll be honest with you. Um, because like I said, the men that claim certain things is not who they claim to be, but um if I do decide to like date and which I'm okay with being single, but if I do decide to date, I would prefer someone that's like godly and um, honest and cause that's one of my biggest pet peeves and um, someone that's trustworthy. Someone that's trustworthy. Okay. Someone that's honest and trustworthy. Uh, what are your deal breakers? Uh, my dear uh, deal breakers are um, people that are intentional. I'll say, um, yeah, uh, I don't like to be lied to. Like I said, I don't like to be lied to. So that's one of the biggest things for me. Oh, Kendra, I need to tell you, girl, uh, when I finished your show the first time, 
uh, you have a, definitely have a troll on here because he came in my inbox telling me, uh, you need to go back to your ex boyfriend. You're 33, five to six in your looks. Uh, you're five years away from having a terrible pregnancy. I'm like, why you even watch the show? He's like, well, yeah, I just, you know, I didn't mean to watch it. I was watching something else. Like, okay. Well, you know, people listen. Here's the deal: people are hateful, and and people that are hateful are miserable. They try to spread that energy as much as possible. So it's just going to be up to you to protect your energy from people like that. And 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 honestly, I know in the moment um, it aggravates you, right? But you should really feel bad oh. for that person. Right? It it that, I like, laughed. I laughed. I posted it on my social media and tagged him. Okay, well, you gave him more attention than he desired because all he wanted was attention. So, I, I mean, and I got to get better at this too because I, I, I realized that I find myself cussing people out more than I should respond to the love that I receive. Somebody jumped in her DM, basically told her she about to be in no man's land, you know, more or less. Man, man, man. Don G, I'm trying to tell you. That wasn't nothing but the good Lord coming up in your inbox telling you some truth. That was that was a table flipping Jesus in your inbox. He said, listen here, harlot, go back to thine man. Stop with your playeth and joketh, joketh and playeth. Stop it. Yeah, yes. that was that was an anointed word coming through. <laughs> says i bet her tires got no tread on them at all man you know what it is <laughs> she thought she'd a hydroplane on her leg. Uh, see what i'm saying Hydro, come on no trades uh, here we go so what i do sometimes it is worth cussing your ass right. out but i try to <laughs> i try to give the love more attention than the hate so i i can't control who watches the show unfortunately right. there are miserable people who want other people to be miserable like them. I don't know, but that's all I can say to that. Let's right. keep going. Well, okay. um, does the guy have to look a certain way? Um, So with my dating experience, I'm not doing any more short kings. I know that for, for a fact. How tall are you? I'm 5'7". Okay. And so 5'9 um, is okay for me because, you know, it's just anybody that I've ever been in a relationship, it's been 5'9 and up, but I can't do any more short kings. I can't. I tried. I try to be open to it. It's not my No preference. short men. I can't. She can't do it. Okay. Um, what about money? Um, I work pretty hard. You know, I try to maintain. Uh, I like to buy anything I want to. And I, you know, if, do, if God does bless me to have a family, um, I would like to have that provider man. Um, and and I I like Dave was saying in your Instagram, you know, I have to set my intentions about the things that I want, um, and speak those things as it is, and manifest those things positively. So I would would love to. I have group traditionally, so of course. Okay, he said, of course, of course. So um, okay, let's do the Kendra cam. Kendra, I honestly wasn't ready because I'm gonna put my shirt on real quick, but I didn't, I was just doing an update. And so I was like, okay, I just, I had my hoochie mama bra on and my sweatpants, but I'm gonna put a shirt on. So give what? me two seconds. Okay. And what was your money answer? You said, what was it? Um, Enough to like, just be a provider for a family. Cause I okay, like so that. Okay, so provider as in sole provider or do you want, or would you be helping out or you want me to pay for all of it? I do want to still work until like, if I have kids then, you know, of course, uh, but I, my, I did grow up with a uh, dad that took care of everything and my mom stayed at home. But, um, I, you know, I, I want to work until I have children. So, work until you, so. Oh, after you have children, you don't want to work anymore. Um, I will work afterwards after my kids get to a certain point. If I can get them to school, you know, be at home. So for five years, you don't want to work. Yeah. But I, you know, I love to cook. I love to take it. I love to spoil my man. So what? No, I get that. But you want a man that obviously makes enough finances where there's only you guys can live off of one income. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's do the Kendra cam. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Ooh, come on, camera. Oh, I was about to break my nail. Okay. All right. Let's see. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Wait, girl, we can't see you. We see your bed. My bed. Okay. Here we go. She did all that. Kendra had to go around that, dance around that. She didn't want to answer the money. Like I said, she was up here before, and last time she said she don't want to work. She wants to be a housewife. 
Is she giving housewife at 33? She ain't got no kids. Is she looking for Mr. Six Figures? Yeah, she ain't. No. It's unfortunate, but she, she talking about she all cap. This lady got too much cap going on. She talk <laughs> too much cap, too much drama. She got uppity expectations, and she working at a sports and event center. You know, she work at whatever, the Toyota Arena. She like security. What she taking ticket stubs or whatever? She is she a supervisor. She supervised the arena, I guess. Uh-huh. You see, and it, it's not. It's a. It's most likely, most definitely, a masculine position. She aging out. She's aging out of the lifestyle. She's demanding. Ain't giving feminine. Ain't giving fit enough for what she wants. She's stuck in purgatory in that junky ass room. Nice. I see y'all telling her clean that house. Shout out to my guy, Divine Photos. Says the Godfather probably DM'd her to buy a dog. <laughs> yeah. Shout out to Project Leroy. He says, ah, there goes that word. Manifest with a man. Yeah. Manifesting madness. They gonna break out the magic wand, baby. And conjure something up. <laughs> we appreciate it, uh, Project Leroy. Also, shout out to Bizzle T. We appreciate you. He's also a channel member. We appreciate that, brother. Money, Thank money, you. money, 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 money. He says, if you are on her show twice, you I mean, Mr. Walker was hitting on that. That's what I wanted yeah. to say. He <laughs> says, you have zero demands. We was just talking about this, brother. We well, say it's desperate enough to come up here once, but to come back up here, what are you doing? Twice and still got demands. Still talking hypergamy of any degree, yeah. It's gonna be a it's gonna be a grim, grim end for okay. Yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Chris Houston, does he have to be in Houston? Um, preferably, um, he doesn't have to live in Houston if he doesn't have like family attachments because I would prefer, I'm very close to my, I'm very, very family oriented. Like I do Sunday dinner every Sunday with my family. So I would prefer someone that lived in Texas. Okay. Can he have children already? No. No. So no, no men with kids. I've been there, done that, tried that. I helped raise kids before. What? So you're not doing that. Okay. What's the age range you would date? Um, so I, 33, so I would say my age, 33 to, and I've been dating older men and so I'd say 50. 33. Uh, uh, I would say between 55 and 65 after, after calculating all your demands, huh. six figures, no kids, or you know what I mean? Obviously if a man got kids, they aged out. So you're talking you about go. a much older man that's going to try to come take care of you. There we go. Tighten yourself up and you better go ahead and huh, sugar, sugar daddy. Go find them. Go find Mr. Willie Earl. You know what I'm saying? With the good pension and the and the new Cadillac. And you better go ahead and and be sweet to him. Make that make a deal. That'll get you Mr. Six Figures. Six figure Willie Earl. <laughs> and she want to be out here all transactional. Your husband is at least 60 years old. Damn. He will pay. He will pay you for what you want. He'll meet your demands happily. What? Right. My guy Larry come through. He say, as an OG. A bullshit. A bullshit. A bullshit. Tuh. A bullshit. <laughs> it ain't fair, well, Mokush. We try to help you out, but even OG said, nah, y'all a bullish ninjas. No, no. Well, here we go. <laughs> Says your next man. Is at the border right now. Ooh, Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. 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 Uh -huh. possibly. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. The fifty. Okay, Chris. When was your last relationship? Um, I stopped counting. Uh, but it's you had that many that you had to stop counting. No, no. The my last relationship, I stopped thinking about. Like once I moved on, I move on. I don't want to, you know, weigh myself down with the thought of a past tense relationship, you know? Because okay. I was the person in a relationship, I'm every month, any anniversary, I'm just like, happy birthday, babe. You know, I'm getting you something nice. Cause like I said, one of my uh, love languages is gift giving. So for my relationships, that's what I was doing. So I'm kept 
track of like every month I was with a person. So um, I think, I think the last time, I think it was seven months ago. Okay. You don't have to answer, but I'm going to ask, when's the last time you was intimate with someone? Uh, when I was in a relationship with my ex-boyfriend. Okay. Um, Chris, what, Chris, right? Chris, yes. What is three, what are three flaws you have to work on? Um, I'm an, I am working on currently being an overthinker. Um, I am currently working on giving too quickly because I am a very pure hearted person. So I have a tendency to want to give my all to a person that, you know, I meet and feel like I can be vulnerable with. I'm all what? That coup de cata? All right. A woman like her, she scorned. And only thing Nug Nug didn't do was pop a baby up in her. All right. She scorned. She said, I ain't doing the man with no kids. I done been a whole stepmama. I done, I done did. She said, I'm done playing them games. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Yeah, this one here. Y'all see, y'all see the scowl on her face. You see it. As Gavin said, yeah, nug, nug, then hard. Yeah, this one here can be a little bit deceiving. Nug, nug, then got the freshest squeeze. And hopefully not, you know, we don't wish infertility on anyone. But nug, nug, then been getting to her. And the fact that he ain't popped the baby up in her, we got to weigh that out. Got to weigh that out as sometimes, man. She 37. No baby, nug nugging around, then play stepmama. Whoa, Nelly. Like that. So my guy Rachad Media come through. I said, <laughs> Skip, I've heard enough. Yeah, get that money. Money. Gotta get that money. Oh, money. And I'm gonna get it. <laughs> and it won't stop and it don't stop and it won't stop. You know what I'm talking about? Appreciate it, brother. Come through, yeah. hit the skip button. He's enough is enough. Dang. We always tell women, no. don't end up back on the show. Well, that's something we always tell them. And she did. We done, we bringing up all of these childless women and still no, no shining gleams of light. Huh? Uh. No, no, no hope in the universe for these uh, childless women. Jeez, they either scissor and timbers, they they y'all uh, they got they got the the nug nug infinity scowl, <laughs> baby or not that that scowl is in your face. It's unfortunate, or, man. Or last but not least, they getting a man taken by Muncho. <laughs> you lost, you lost. If your man will leave you for me and I ain't even got no teeth, I won. You fucking lost. That's it. 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 I won. I won. You fuck lost. All right. You done lost to Mucho. Shout out to Richard Media. We appreciate you, brother.